We try to prove that 2 when you choose m, binomial number, divided by m plus 1 is an integer. And we're going to take a number theoretical approach for the proof. We have proved similar fact in an earlier video, but we're using a different approach. That is, in previous video, we proved that m plus 1 divides 2 and choose m, which is the same thing that we're trying to prove today. But earlier, it was based on a combinatorial approach, where we argue the relationship between 2 and choose n and 2 and choose m plus 1. And we also rely on the fact that all the binomial numbers are integers. Today, however, we're going to take a different approach. We're going to use number theory for the proof. Now, we're going to base on another fact that is also presented in an earlier video, that is, the product of n consecutive integers is divisible by n factorial. Now, here I have number from a plus 1, a plus 2, up to a plus n. The product of those numbers is a multiple of n vectoria. So that is a number theory fact that we proved in our earlier videos. That is based on what is called the periodic numbers. All right. So here, recap. So for the formula for 2 and choose n is a fraction of 2n factorial divided by m factorial, m factorial. Of course, when we learn and this you know, fact, we take it for granted that it's an integer, but today we want to prove it. Okay, this can be cancelled because m factorial would cancel 1 times 2 up to n, so leading the numerator starting from m plus 1, m plus 2 up to 2n. How many numbers? That's n numbers, and they're consecutive from m plus 1, m plus 2, up to 2n minus 1 and 2n. So, based on the earlier fact that the product of n consecutive integers is divisible by n factorial, so the whole ratio here is an integer. So, we have proven that this is an integer based on an earlier fact in number theory. Okay. So, however, we're going to rewrite this ratio here, okay? So, this is the ratio, but we're going to split into two terms on the top, n plus 1, and then the remaining n minus 1 consecutive numbers. And n factorial, we're going to split into n times n minus 1 vectorial. That is, this fraction is equal to the product of two new fractions here. Now, the second fraction, however, the numerator is n minus 1 consecutive numbers. By earlier fact, that must be divisible by n minus 1 vectorial. In other words, the whole chunk here, the fraction, is an integer. Okay, let's call it z lot. Okay, so where z lot is some integer. Okay. Now, notice that the whole thing is still an integer because 2 and choose m by earlier analysis it's an integer. So what do we get? We get the whole thing is an integer, but here m plus 1 and n are relative prime, right? Two consecutive numbers are always relative prime. There's no common prime factor. So which means in order for the whole thing to be an integer, n must be a divisor of z lot. Yeah, so this whole thing is an integer, and the n plus 1 and n are relative prime, so we make the conclusion that z lot over n must be an integer. Okay, the ratio here is integer z1, for example. So n divides z lot, z lot over n must be an integer. That integer happens to equal to this 2 and choose n divided by n plus 1, because you divide n plus 1 on both sides for this equation you're going to get this is indeed an integer. So we reached the conclusion that the cardinal number defined as cn is 2n choose m divided by m plus 1 is indeed an integer, right? So that's the proof. Okay, so hope you follow the proofs and um, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.
Thank you.